No hay lavado fregadora detrás. No, es que yo creí que estaba sin lavar. Porque me voy para. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Maria. How are you today? More or less. More or less. No, it was mm, better than yesterday. Oh, that's nice. Better than yes. Yes, it's nice. I hope that tomorrow is going to be even better. Yeah. <laughs> and the rest of you, how are you doing? How was your day? So so very well for me. Very well. Nice. Okay. So thank you so much for being on time. Uh we're going to start the class in honor to you that you're always early. So before starting, I would like to know if there is any uh, question about the exercise on the platform, any um, thing that you have seen or you have found difficult with the midterm exam, or we are good to continue with the class. Very good. Okay, well, Yesterday, we were practicing uh, uh, giving suggestions, pieces of advice using infinitives. Do you have any question about this? No? Okay, 
So oh. uh, we did the part A, but we didn't do the part B or C. Um, can we write some pieces of advice for the problems that we have here? For example, a cold, sore eyes, a sunburn, or sore muscles. At least one piece of advice per each one. And remember to use this structure that we have here. For example, um, for a sunburn, let's write a um, recommendation. Um, so I can say it's sometimes helpful to put to put aloe, yeah? Okay, so for for example, for a sunburn, I can I can say it's sometimes helpful to put aloe on it. La savila. Some people say that it works. Uh huh. When you get sunburn, when you um wear it for too much time under the sun and beach, so you get like sunburns. Sometimes it's helpful to put aloe on it. Mm -hmm. I wrote I it in the so chat I... as an example. Mm -hmm. Yes, Maria? I have sore eyes, but I want to drink more. <laughs> oh, you have sore mm -hmm. eyes. It is important to sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> it is important to sleep at least six hours, at least. But but I can't do it. You can't do it? I have some. Okay. Well, it's sometimes helpful to, to use eye drops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eye drops. Sometimes. Sometimes help. And so, sometimes I use um, potato on my eye. A potato. Okay, yes. mm -hmm. that's a nice advice. It is a good idea to put potato on your eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Can we write some more advice, pieces of advice for the, the problems that we have in part C? A call, sore eyes, a sunburn, sore muscles, Remember to use this structure, the complete thing that we have here, as we have provided the examples a couple of minutes ago. I'm going to give you time. Or, sir, muscles. Um, it's a good idea to see a doctor. Mm, for some muscles, it's a good idea to see a doctor. Mm -hmm. That's a nice example. Puede ser incluso si trabaja un montón de niveles que se llama I got it, teacher. Hello. I, I got it. Okay, you have all complete? Yes. Okay, can you share what you have with us? Okay. Start from uh, a cold. Which one? A cold. A cold, let's see. 
Uh, is the number one. Uh -huh. uh, uh, sorry, uh, number two. Uh, the answer is take some vitamin C. Okay, but um, and the idea is to to make ah, it to complete. The, For uh, example, it is important uh, to it is helpful, uh -huh. etc. I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's important to uh, take some vitamin C. Excellent. Now, what about sore eyes? So, uh, so I, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So I, let, let's see. Where, so I, ah, they, yeah, I got it. So I is, uh, uh, some, um, uh, let's see. It's, So it's sometimes helpful um, to to take some aspirin. Okay. What about a sunburn? If it's a good idea to put a, an ointment on on the skin. Okay. What about certain muscles? Um, also, it's a good idea to put in it uh, some ointment. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation and you have uh, done an excellent job, Vicente. Thank you so much. Any okay. other volunteer who would like to share? Any other volunteer? It doesn't matter if you haven't finished the four of them. If you just have one or two, that's okay. Volunteers? Eduardo, thank you so much. Share what you have. Good night. Uh, for a call, I think that it's a good idea to take a soup a chicken soup mm -hmm. for a sore eyes sometimes helpful to take a sleep uh it's like a, a nap yes a nap. take a nap all right a nap. excellent mm -hmm. for a sun skin sometimes work to use uh, sunblock. Mm -hmm. Sunscreen. Uh huh. And for some sore muscles, it's a good idea to take a cold shower. A cold shower. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. You did an excellent job. Let's listen to Ruth Elizabeth. For a call, it's a good idea to go to bed and rest. Mm -hmm. For sore eyes, it is important to see an ophthalmologist. For a sore burn, it's sometimes helpful to apply a social medicate cream. Mm -hmm. and for a sore muscle, 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 sore muscles, sore muscles, and it's good idea um to apply ice, apply to apply ice, yellow ice, ice, uh -huh. to to help reduce inflammation. All right, amazing. Very good job, Ruth. Thank you so much for sharing. Is there any other volunteer? All right. 
Uh, yesterday, we didn't have the opportunity to practice. That's why I wanted to make this short review. Thank you so much for your participation. You did it great. So um, let's move on uh, for, um, here we have a discussion about difficult situations. Uh, let's read them and then we're going to work in groups. Imagine that these situations are true for you. Get three suggestions for each one. First, I get really hungry before I go to bed. I sometimes feel really stressed. I need to study, but I can't concentrate. I feel sick before every exam. I forget about half the new words I learn. I get nervous when I speak English to foreigners. Questions with the vocabulary? Yes, what, what do you mean foreigners? Extranjeros. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, for so for this situation, uh -huh. yes, Maria. Could you repeat the pronunciation of for foreign foreigners? Foreigner. 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 Thank you. Excellent. Any other question? or request? No, it's okay. All right. So you're gonna do the same as the previous exercise. You're going to work in groups and you're going to give at least three suggestions for each one, uh, for each of these suggestions. Uh, for example, if you say, I forget half of the words I learn. So you can say, it is sometimes helpful to write them in a sticky note and put them in front of your computer, for example. So give at least three suggestions for each one. We're gonna do this in groups. Remember that you can use your notebooks or you can work in a Word document as it is easier for you. This is in the material that you download through the platform and also in the one that I sent yesterday. Let's see, uh, just rooms or maybe and it's done Can we practice with okay. someone? Okay, si gustan, voy a compartir la imagen para que lo hagamos. Okay. Ah, ya está. Ya lo tienen. Sí. Okay. Hey, los demás compañeros, María. No sé, pero yo no veo la pantalla compartida. Ah, ¿usted lo va a compartir? No, no, no la veo, perdón. Ah, no, no, no la veo. Yo tomé un screenshot. Ah, ok, ok. Y lo compartí al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ahorita lo veo. Uh -huh. O oh, si usted igual puede compartir. Comparto pantalla yo. Yo la okay. tengo aquí enfrente, entonces puedo compartir pantalla. Ok, de acuerdo. Ah. 
Okay, good. Okay, good. I'm ready. No es esa la presentación, es otra. Sí, es esa. Está en la, digamos, en la diapositiva 5. Ok. Ajá. Esa es. Ok. Thank you. Ok, I'm ready. May I begin? Okay. Okay. Um, in the number one, um, I get really hungry before I go to bed. Um, it's helpful to take a, a, a tea before go to bed. Okay. And... And also, it's good idea to to eat something uh, or uh, a piece of bread or I don't know before go to bed. Okay. Sigo. Sí. Okay. Maybe. Uh, another can be it's sometimes helpful uh, no it's a good idea to eat more in the dinner okay good mm -hmm. okay anybody or the second. No, um, no, no. Okay. Continue si gusta. Okay. Uh, number two, I sometimes feel really stressed. It's a good idea to to take a nap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I think it's important. Well, I don't know what it's going to say, but I sometimes when I get stressed, um, I dance. And so it's important to dance, maybe. Okay, I think that is important in that situation. Uh, the, I sometimes feel really stressed. Um, it's a good idea uh, practice any hobby, for example, basketball, softball, or mm -hmm. other um, game. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, I sometimes uh, practice a uh, little sport before a uh, job. No, 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 after my job. Okay. And the situation that I get nervous, nervous when I speak English for Jorge, Jorge, what is the pronunciation? Extranjero? Foreigner. Foreigner, uh, foreigner. Okay, thank you, Tisha. I think that it's important to um, practice more English. Of course. Mm -hmm. That's the only one way to learn. Exactly. Um, Number three. It's, it's, it's a good idea to, to sing English songs. Mm -hmm. right. Listen more right. music in English. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Listen, listen, and sing. Listen uh -huh. and sing. I I useful learn listen uh, English music. Mm -hmm. yes. And you Sometimes. and you understand the letters. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, no, because um, I'm looking for... Uh, Me too, sometimes. <laughs> ...in internet. And, and ah, I'm okay. Practicing. Okay, okay. And... Maybe sometimes work to practice uh, in front of uh, a mirror alone. In the mirror. <laughs> uh, yeah. exactly. Yes, that, that is funny. That. It's very you funny watch all the to moves. do that. Or, mm -hmm. or imagine a, a fake conversation in your mind. Face to face. Yes. Exactly. Yes, that is, that is Good. right. Um, what about number three? I need to study, but I can't concentrate. I think that is important. Drink a bit vitamin C, <laughs> vitamin <laughs> for for the brain. <laughs> Multivitamin. B. Mm -hmm. B B twelve. B two. <laughs> vitamin B from one to five. Mm hmm. Or sometimes work uh, just to put put up, turn off the the cell phone and just concentrate. Mm -hmm. The problem is the cell phone. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it is. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, uh, number one, two, three, four. Three. Number four, I feel sick before every exam. I guess it's nervous. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea to to take a shower before, <laughs> take a shower before, take it easy, and in, and it's very important to study. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think it's important. Um, uh, how do you say uh, respirar before the exam? Breathe. 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 No. Breathe. Yes. Breathe. Breathe. Yes. Breathe. To breathe. Okay. Breathe. Oh. And I think that is very important. Breathe. To breathe. Uh, to breathe. Uh -huh. uh, Remember to the breathe. infinitive. To breathe. To breathe before to breathe. every exam. Okay, and study, good. of course. And study. <laughs> and mm -hmm. more. It's a good idea to and study, study more. more. Mm -hmm. to study more. Exactly. Number five. And the five I situation. Mm -hmm. I forget about half of the new words I learned. Um, mm -hmm. Um, uh, it's important to write it, write them on a, on a piece of paper, I don't know, and, and save it in our pocket and study, um, okay. Oh, yeah, vamos de nuevo. Maybe it, it's a good idea to, to take a, maybe a, an aspirin or, or a pill for, okay. or, or, or a chamomile tea, uh -huh. maybe. Acetaminophen. <laughs> okay. Ibuprofen. <laughs> No, 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 no me acuerdo cómo dice. Pero sí. 
Sí, porque entiendo, cómo, pero eh, la, en sí dice eh, antes de un examen, o sea, como que, como que también es una situación. Me de estrés. De estrés, correcto. Entonces, es relax. I forget how, how a new words I learn. Yo olvido, eh, dice, sobre la mitad de nuevas palabras. Forget es olvidar. Yes. Sí. Yes. I forget all about all the new words. Yo olvido eh, la mitad. ¿Cómo dice? La mitad de las nuevas palabras. Que aprendo. Que aprendo. Híjole. <laughs> I get nervous when I speak English to foreigners. Uh, me pongo nervioso cuando yo hablo inglés con extranjeros. Oh, sí, también. Yeah, I get nervous when I speak Yes. Eh, puede ser, I get nervous. Eh, ¿Qué haces para contrarrestarlo? Entonces, puedes decir... Eh, Hablo despacio. I speak eh, very lowly. Eh, very para lowly. ayudarme. Ajá, muy despacio. O le very pido lowly. que me hablen despacio. Very lowly. Very lowly. Speak English. Ajá. Puede ser, ajá, para que, porque dice que, que, que te dan nervios y entonces, o sea, obviamente no vas a poder contestar. Deme un minutito que tengo algo de la cosa. Oh, disculpen. Ok. ¿Quién más, chicos? Hey, I heard some of you practicing and you were having fun. How do you feel? We feel good. We feel good. good. I feel good. Funny, entertaining. We are learning. All right, excellent. That's the idea that you practice, that you have fun. Remember that in the platform, we cannot speak with anybody right so we need to practice here in the breakout rooms and you did an excellent job so before we continue i'm going to check attendance uh, so remember to turn on your cameras if it's possible and say present when you hear your names okay and let's see 
Ada Marilu. Ada Marilu Herrera. Alejandra Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Alejandra. Ana Ivania Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Ana Silvia Rodríguez de Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodríguez de Funes. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Jancy Martinez. Ana Jancy Martinez. Brian Alexis. Cristina del Carmen. Present. Thank you, Cristina. Daniel Alejandro. Daniel Alejandro. Diana Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Diana Esmeralda. Perdón, Dina. Dina Esmeralda. Present. Thank you, Dina. Eduardo Jose. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Susana. Present. Thank you. Francisco Daniel. Present. Thank you. Iris Concepción. Present, teacher. Thank you. María del Carmen. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nancy Carolina. Patricia Maris. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rosalinda. Rosa Hilda. Oh, sorry. Rosa Hilda. Thank okay, you. Okay, present. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Sandra Noemi. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Vicente Israel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Recibel. Present. Thank you so much. Okay, so now that we check attendance, we're going to watch a video in the platform about a conversation that we're going to practice. Let me get ready. Here it is. In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Also, I need three bottles of vitamin. Three bottles? That's too much. Three, bo <laughs> three bottles. Okay. <laughs> yes. So that is the conversation that you listen in the platform. Yes, same thing, different drawings, different voices, but same thing. Um, is there any question about this? 
No. No questions? No question. Okay, I'm going to play the recording and I'm going to stop so that you can repeat at home and then we will practice in the breakout rooms. Okay. Page 81, exercise eight, conversation. What do you suggest? Part A, listen and practice. Hi. May I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Sure. Why don't you try these cough drops? They work very well. Okay, I'll take one box. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Well, you could get a jar of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay, questions? Eduardo? Yes. Uh, I have a question with the word. I, I'll take a box. I took one box. Mm How -hmm. pronounce the that word? Isle. Yes. Uh huh. Isle. Isle is is a short form of I have. Short. Um. No. I will. I will. I will. Uh huh. It's the contraction okay. of I will. Okay. Uh -huh. Any other question? Teacher, I have a question. Why? Why is why is I have three large boats and, and no I have three big boat boat big when it comes to containers it's better to use uh large because they are talking about it's like a size, all right? Right. Uh-huh. It's like uh a bottle size, uh, a container size. That's why they they use large instead of big. Mm -hmm. For example, if you go to a restaurant or a fast food restaurant, like, uh, I don't know, McDonald's, for example, and you want to have a, um, the big, um, uh, a, a big glass of soda, you don't ask for a big glass of soda, you say a large soda. Mm -hmm. Because it comes like a sizing. Uh -huh. Y entonces para decir corto sería short, pudo, pequeña or soda. Little. Or little. Or small. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, a small. A small, small glass, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other question? Richard, 
-huh. Y little es como poquito, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh es -huh. the quantity. Es, he escuchado que se usa más que todo con, digamos, con los nombres o algo así, o para decir como un diminutivo. Um, yes, it can be, uh, um, it can be used, used like that, but also it refers to quantities. But in this case, we are talking about the size of the container, for example. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. For example, for someone ask you, uh, um, uh, how much, uh, what, um, how much coffee do you want? Uh, just one, uh, just a little. It's just como decir un poquito. Uh -huh. Se refiere a la cantidad. Uh -huh. Okay. Es un quantifier. Y lo demás, cuando nos estamos refiriendo a la, al tamaño de un contenedor, por eso se usan como, como si fueran tallas. Small, large, extra large también puede ser. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I heard that a little is for uh, countable things and a few is for not countable or is it's, it's, vice versa. It, yes. Mm -hmm. A few is Maybe for liquid. A few is for countable. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Not okay, so let's listen to the rest of the conversation in part B. We're going to listen to the pharmacist talk to the next customer and you will have to answer this question. What does the customer want? Listen, I'm going to play the recording twice and try to gather this information. What does the customer want. Page 81, exercise eight, part B. Listen to the pharmacist talk to the next customer. What does the customer want? Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? Um, what do you suggest for a backache? Well, you should take some aspirin. And it's a good idea to use a heating pad. Oh, and where is the aspirin? In aisle five, right over there. Page 81, exercise eight, part B. Listen to the pharmacist talk to the next customer. What does the customer want? Excuse me. Yes. How can I help you? Um, what do you suggest for a backache? Well, you should take some aspirin. And it's a good idea to use a heating pad. Oh, and where is the aspirin? In aisle five, right over there. Okay, volunteer. What does the customer want? I suggest for a backache. Uh huh. He wants something for a backache. Excellent. And what does the pharmacist suggest? Uh, he suggests to take some aspirin and also put a, a heat of a piece of a heating you know, pad. Heating pad. On on the muscle or in, in the head. Yes, excellent. Uh-huh. Yes, excellent. Very good listeners. Okay, now I'm going to uh, allow it to go to the breakout room so that you can practice this conversation. So I'm gonna stop sharing for a while. And remember you have this one in the material and also in the PowerPoint. So let's open up the breakout room.
let's start. Who will start? I can be the pharmacist. Okay. I am Mr. Webb. Okay. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Call I have something for a cup. I think I am getting a cold. Sure. Why don't you try these cup drops? They work very well. Okay. I will take one box. And what do what do you suggest for dry skin? Well, you could get a jar of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more thing. Uh, my husband uh, has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great. May I have three layers? Bottles, please. Ruth, it is a supplier. Okay, so I pharmacist. Okay, may okay. I? Oh, sorry. Hi, my. May I help you? Yes, please call. Have some time for call. I think I am getting a, a call. Sure. Why, do, why don't you try these call drops? They work very well. Okay. It say one book, one book, and the, what do you get? for the big skin. Well, you call, you call her a heart. Hi, my, I help you. Yes, please. Could I have something for a cup? I think I'm getting a cold. Sure, we don't you drink these go drops. They go they work very well. Okay, I take one box. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Well, you will get a jar of the ice in the box. I of this new lotion, it's very good. Okay, and one more thing. My husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He showed through some of these multi no sé cómo se dice. Multivitamin. Multivitamins there. Excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Yes. Ahora cambiamos. Ahora quién va. Yo comienzo. Hi, may I help you? Hi, permíteme. Uh, yes, yes, please call, call. I have some time for a call. I think I'm getting a call. Sure. Why don't you try these cold drops? They work very well. Okay. I I will take one box and what do you sugar sugar for drink 
asking. Right. Yeah, you can learn about all this information. Ah. It's very good. Okay. And um, one more thing. My hus husband has no energy this day. Can you sugar and eat it? Uh, he should anything he should find some of these multivitamins uh, they are excellent okay we're back again and one more thing that we have here it's vocabulary about containers and let's see i think it was like uh, one before okay let me make it smaller so that you can see the whole thing. Okay, uh, we have here in this part containers, vocabulary about containers. We have bag, bottle, box, can, jar, pack, stick, chew. So, for example, uh, and here we have the the objects or, or some nouns that goes with these containers. For example, of toothpaste. What would you put for toothpaste? It's, uh, it's uh, tube. A tube. A tube. Uh huh. A tube of toothpaste. Okay. And number two? Uh, the box. box. A box, a box a of aspirin. A box. aspirin. A box. I guess uh, it's a bottle of aspirin. Yeah, uh, you think it's a bottle or a box? Let's look at the no, picture. Ah. Bottle. 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 Yes, bottle. a bottle of aspirin. Number two would yes. be a bottle of aspirin. Number yes. three, advantages. Mm. A box, a box, a box, box. Excellent, box. a box of bandages. A uh, four, of shaving cream. A can. A can. Uh, a can? A can. Yes. Okay, yes, a can. A can a of can. shaving uh, cream. A can. Can. a can of shaving cream. Uh, of tissues. Okay. Tissues is a box. A box? A pack. A pack of tissues. A pack of tissues. A pack of tissues. A face cream. Face cream. Which one is? A jar. A bottle. A jar. A jar. A jar. A jar. Uh, a jar of ice cream. Jar. Number seven. Number seven is cough of cough, cough drops. Is a uh, uh, maybe a, bar. a box. A bag. It's a bag. A it's bag. A, one, a bag. A bag a of bag. cough drops. And the last one, number eight. Uh, the other one is a uh, jar. A can, I guess, or a, a the bottle. other a stick. Uh, stick. A stick. Uh-huh. A stick. A stick of the other. A stick of the other. Uh-huh. Stick says una barra de sonante en este caso. A stick of the other. Okay. So uh we're going to stop here. Thank you so much. We're participating a lot and doing a very nice job today. I hope that you continue like that and see you tomorrow. We hope. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.